everybody welcome to Lisa Simmons art today I'm going to do a simple flip cup on a 10 by 10 stretched canvas I just wanted to use some random colors that I need to use up soon because I've had them mixed for a while the colors are pre-mixed in bottles and they do not have any spot-on treadmill lubricant mixed in them however I'm going to put a few drops between certain layers of colors just so I can achieve some cells. So let's get started. All the colors will be listed in the video description. Okay, got our cup ready. Let's just make a little zigzag in here and across and across one more time. Some pretty wild colors in here. Not sure what I'm going to end up with, but it'll be fun. Flip my cup. Let it sit there for a moment. I like to let the cup set for a few minutes so that all the paint has a chance to run down to the bottom. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's lift our cup. Just let that flow. That's kind of cool. It looks like a rainbow with cells in it. That looks like an alien. See the eyes? How cool is that? Wish I could keep that, but I know I'm not going to be able to. Okay, I've let this sit for a few moments and we have a lot of really pretty colors coming up over here. Some very interesting looking cells. I'm actually loving this. Wasn't so sure about all those colors together, but it's pretty cool. The inside of the cup looks awesome. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I'm going to torch this. Torching brings up cells from underneath and it also pops bubbles. And I use a propane torch. Okay, this is set here for a couple more moments and we got some more cells coming up and the paint's moving. So we're going to tilt this. I'm going to use my hand as a dam so I don't lose all the paint over the side. Bring it back to center. These colors are coming out fantastic. I'm loving this. See what kind of cool stuff you can get when you're using leftover paints and not even really thinking about what you're doing. It's all random. In fact, I seem to get better paintings when I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm loving all that magenta. So now I'm going to come this way with it. Try my best not to lose too much of those beautiful magenta and blue colors. Ooh, I'm absolutely loving this. Kind of looks like a explosive rainbow marble. That is beautiful. Take some of this paint off of here. Make sure I have the corners covered. I love that, that is awesome. Very happy with that. I'm gonna take my torch to this again because since the paint has moved, some more cells might come up. But even if they don't, this is beautiful. This is so cool, I really love this one. This one's probably gonna have some more cells coming up as it sits and dries, but already I'm loving it. And if it doesn't do another thing, I will be perfectly happy with it. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned for close-ups and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.